Hi guys, it's Maria here. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is all about my favorite things, lifestyle bags and fashion, but mostly bags. I post videos every Friday, sometimes Wednesday. I'm always on a hunt for the perfect bag. If you are like me, subscribe, hit notification bell, and let's enjoy bags together. A few months ago, I did the full review video on this beautiful Louis Puzzle Hobo slouchy bag. I covered in details the overview of the bag and showed you some watch shots and close-ups. If you haven't seen this video yet, I'm going to leave the link below in the description box. Some of you requested a what fits test for Loewe Hobo Puzzle bag. No problem at all, here we come. This video is about what fits experiment for this beautiful bag. And before we begin, I want to give you a, a little uh, details and a little bit of information about Loewe Puzzle Hobo Slouchy Bag. A few things that I noticed after I started wearing the bag more often. The first of all, why I love this bag so much, and by the way, that was one of the biggest pleasant bag surprises for me in 2022. I didn't expect myself to like this bag so much. When I saw that just in the pictures on the internet, I'm like, ah, bag and bag, but I'm a massive fan of the Leve Fashion House and also a puzzle design, and that's why I really want to try it out. So why did I like it so much? So first of all, the unique original design of the hobo version of the puzzle bag. It clearly belongs to the puzzle family. You still can see those leather pieces, puzzle pieces, if you want, coming together, making this bag this beautiful creation. But at the same time, it's not similar enough for leather bag to become it an original. That's what I like the most about the Loewe hobo puzzle bag in the slouchy version. The second thing, it's a quality and it's a leather as well. It's 100% Napa cuff leather. So soft, guys, so tactile. I didn't know that it's going to be this way. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm all about touching bags and all about those tactile things. And that's why it just made me think that the bag is so amazing. But despite the fact that the leather is so soft and delicate, it's actually very durable and resistant to any scratches and the marks. For example, just a few days ago, I was drinking a water and I splashed a few water drops on the top flap. Because the bag in ochre, kind of like a mustard color, immediately I could see the little drops on the top flap. However, just wait for the 45 minutes and they will completely disappear. That will happen to me. I cannot comment on any oil marks or something like that. I haven't experienced it yet because yes, I'm still trying to be careful around this bag, but I can comment on the water drops no issue at all. And the other thing, because the bag is in such a light color, it's still neutral, it's not white or cream, but it's still light enough to get any color transfer. That's why I'm trying to avoid any denim, to wear any denim or any dark colors with that bag. I think it will be absolutely fine with uh, like cotton, that sort of things, but you know, any denim which could be a color transfer, I'm trying to avoid anything like that when I'm around this bag. One more thing that I really want to mention before we move on to the what fit section, it's a weight of this bag. And it's only 340 grams, guys. That's similar weight to some of my micro and mini bags. I think it's one of the best and one of the lightest medium-sized bags on the market. And because the weight is so light, that allows you to <laughs> stuff up this bag without compromising the overall weight of the bag. Let the what fits experiment begin. I would say the Loewe Puzzle Hobo Slouchy Bag is one of the best bags in the sense of capacity in the range of the middle size bags. And I'm going to prove that right now. However, a little disappointment here that unfortunately, even being great capacity bag, the laptop, and it's a 13 inches size, doesn't fit in there. No, no matter how you're trying to organize your space in there, it's just not enough. But the other big items like notebooks and a bottle of water and the, even a book, Continental wallets will easily go in there. And when we, and we start with the biggest and the heaviest item, which is bottle of water, 750 mils. And it's easily go in there. 
no problema at all. Here we go. Then we will go for the second biggest item, which is a book, a little poetry book, if you like, here. I'm going to put that on the bag so we can just fit as much as we can with a little bit of organizing skills here. Then we go for the big, chunky purse. Unfortunately, I don't have a continental wallet now, but believe me, it's if we can fit the book, we can fit the continental wallet as well. Purse goes in there. Perfection. Then we have my large iPhone Max Pro, 16 centimeters long. Easily go in there as well. Don't forget that the bag also has a two back pockets. If you want to use any smaller items or the smaller phones, you can easily fit the smaller items in those two back pockets inside the bag. Then a hand cream. I have a little notebook here as well. Here we go. Voila. Then I have a little Kern card purse. Easily go in there as well. We're a little bulking up here, but I just want to use as much capacity as possible. And then the smaller items. Keys, lipstick, and a lip balm. Here we go. The bag is quite full, as you can see, but let's check if we can zip it up. Happening. My husband is filming it just now and he's like, nah, it's not happening, it's not going to zip up. And we proved him wrong. We not easily, but we zipped it up. I would probably not recommend to stuff up your bag to that extent, but as you can see, I just wanted to prove the full capacity of the bag. You can see how much we can put in there. And this is how the bag looks like when it's a uh, full to the brim. You can see that it's still holding its shape and doesn't look ugly. Okay, let's take a few items out and see what it's going to look like. I just took out a notebook, purse and the hand cream. As you can see, that bag is not bulking out as much now. We can easily zip it up. We still have there a bottle of water, card holder, the phone, the large phone and the book and a couple of lipsticks and this is how the bag looks like looks perfectly yes i'm not going to lie i think the shape here is being created by the book on the back of the bag so let's try to do this without the book and see how slouchy it's going to be that's that's what it looks like without the book on the back of the bag i love how the slouchy and how shapeless this bag is by being actually structured bag you know what i mean which makes the bag is a beautiful companion for uh you know casual or a smart casual outfits and that's me for today guys i hope you enjoy this what fits experiment for loewe puzzle hobo slouchy bag which you requested if you did you know where to find thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe hit notification bell and i will see you next time bye